seed is the source of life quality seed is the key for successful agriculture students today we can see about principles of quality seed production in this class we can see about area selection selection of land season crop varieties seeds sowing isolation then factors influencing isolation distance pre sowing seed treatment seed rate time of planting roging irrigation fertilizer and supplementary pollination weeding plant protection measures harvest processing and seed storage now we can see one by one india is predominantly agrarian based economy with more than 60% of the population engaged in agriculture related activities here agrarian means agricultural society agriculture contributes to 17% of gdp with 80% of the farmers being marginal it means farmers having less than 1 hectare about 95% of the farmers own below 4 hectare and operate on 55% of of the arable land and 35% of the population lives below the poverty line only 37% of the land is irrigated producing 60% of the food grains total cultivated area is stagnant and 142 million hectare india has achieved green white yellow and blue revolution green revolution was mostly attributed to the development of high yielding varieties and distribution of quality seeds to the farmers as improved hybrids contribute to 45% of crop productivity quality seed contributes to 10 to 20% of yield increase first we can see about area selection for seed production we have to select area free from volunteer plants wheat plants and other crop plants in the preceding season the same crop should have not been grown as per the certification norms the same crop should not have been grown in the previous season if so it must be the same crop variety and approved by the seed certification agency avoid areas where isolation is a problem then we have to select area having a well distributed rainfall in the cropping period and area should be cool and dry weather we have to avoid high temperature and relative humidity and heavy windy areas why this area should be avoided because this area germination is poor then avoid coastal belt and marshy places avoid areas of endemic disease and pest then select compact area and also skilled laborers especially for hybrid seed production the processing unit with the transporting and marketing facilities near the seed production area are most suitable second one is selection of land how we select the land for seed production we have to select the well leveled fertile and nearest to irrigation sources that are well drained field should be selected what are all the fields should be avoided avoid weedy field particularly the presence of obnoxious weeds obnoxious means it is intolerable crop then problem field fields like alkaline saline sodic and also sick field and endemic pest and disease problems areas third one is selection of season in tamil we use aadi pattam thedi vidai likewise each crop and variety have specific season generally the seed crop should mature in a mild warm season to facilitate harvest and post harvest operations off season is better as it avoids isolation problem then fourth one is selection of crop and varieties the selected variety should be adapted to the agroclimatic conditions of the regions how can we select the varieties the selected variety should really a high yielder popular one wide adaptability photo and thermal insensitive varieties drought resistant pest and disease resistant ones and also it possess other desirable attributes namely earliness of the crop and grain quality fifth point is seeds and sowing 
good seed makes a good crop similarly the seed used for raising the seed crop should be known purity appropriate class and invariably obtained from an authorized official agency for example breeder seed can produced only by the university foundation seed by state seed farm and farmers can produced certified seeds only the basic material for seed production of breeder seed is nucleus seed for production of foundation seed the base material is breeder seed and for production of certified seed the base material is foundation seed for commercial seed production the base material is certified seed we have to verify the proof of purchase and the bill and also details on the tag how much purity percentage germination percentage and also validity period usually the validity period for all class of seed is 9 months here purity means breeder seed should have 100% for foundation seed 99% and certified seed should be 98% in case of germination percentage means for example paddy crop should have 80% germination and pulses it is 75% and also we have to verify all the bags should be the same variety then sixth point is preparation of land women without man is like a field without seed likewise for seed crop the land must be prepared well that helps in improved germination deep ploughing results in destruction of potential weeds it also aids in water management and good uniform irrigation then seventh point is isolation of seed crop what is isolation isolation it is the act of keeping the seed parent away from the contamination both genetic and physical then isolation distance it is the distance between the seed crop and the contamination there are different types of isolation and it is divided into four types first one is physical or distance isolation it is expressed in meters for example self pollinated crop require minimum isolation distance for paddy it is 3 meter and for cross pollinated crop it require maximum isolation distance of 1000 meter then second one is time isolation it means taking up of sowing in different date that is 30 days for most of the crops except in indeterminate growth crops that is raising the seed crop by staggered sowing so that synchronization of flowering and pollination in seed crop and the contamination is prevented then third point is barrier isolation if physical or time isolation is not possible we can go for barrier isolation by erecting tall shelter trees we can go for barrier isolation by natural or artificial here the natural barriers means erecting sesbania maize and sunflower crops the artificial barrier means erecting plastic cover to avoid contamination fourth one is physiological isolation it differs in flowering due to change in altitude factors influencing isolation distance first one is pollination behavior of crop already i have told that self pollinated crop require less isolation distance that is 3 meter to 50 meter the often cross pollinated crop required 100 to 400 meter the cross pollinated crop require 800 to 1600 meter then pollinating agents the pollinating agents are wind and insect if wind the direction of flow of wind wind velocity is important if insect means the flight capacity of insect stickiness of pollen to insect legs are important then pollen characters the viability of the pollen then pollen production capacity of crop weight of the pollen nature of the pollen whether having serrated edge or blunt edge then time of anthesis is important in general varieties require less isolation distance than hybrids if hybrids the type of 
hybrid whether it is a single cross hybrid or double cross. Single cross hybrid required more isolation distance when compared to double cross. Then breeding mechanism of plant detasseling or sterility or emasculation and dusting. Here the emasculation and dusting method require less isolation distance compared to sterility or detasseling methods. Then stages of seed production. Because of high genetic purity of breeder seed, the crop require more isolation distance. What is the genetic purity of the breeder seed? Already I have told it is 100 percent. For foundation seed crop, it require less isolation distance compared to breeder seed. And compared to breeder seed and foundation seed, certified seed crop require less isolation distance. Then eighth point is pre-sowing seed treatment. The pre-sowing seed treatment means prior to sowing, the seed should be appropriately treated with the nutrients or leaf extracts or chemicals or growth regulators. While seed treatment, duration of soaking, water to seed ratio, old seed or new seed, quantity of micro or macro nutrients or growth regulators is, is to be considered. To break the dormancy, some of the treatments like leaching, scarification, the scarification may be acid and mechanical, then chemical treatment, stratification is given. Then seed hardening with different chemicals and seed treatment using beneficial microbes wise asospirillum, rhizopium, trichoderma and pseudomonas etc. Why we can go for seed treatment? Seed treatment is done to eliminate seed burn pathogens and also soil burn pathogens. The another type of seed treatment is pelleting using botanicals, chemicals, nutrients or inert materials. The topics of pelleting seed hardening will be dealt in seed immigration techniques class. Then ninth point is seed rate transplanting and line sowing. The seed rate should be based on seed lot viability and vigor. If low vigor lot means there will be lot of gaps in the field, indirect sown crop or seedlings may not be sufficient to cover the targeted area to transplant. So, line sowing is mostly advisable for seed crop and adapting correct spacing then only we can achieve required population. Then tenth point is time of planting. The planting should be in appropriate season and correct age of seedlings. Older seedlings tend to grow slowly and are susceptible to pest and disease. Then eleventh point is spacing and sowing. For seed crop, wider spacing is required than grain crop. Depth of sowing. Usually, sowing depth should be double the diameter of the seed. Then, roguing spacing. The breeder seed crop require double row planting. For foundation seed crop require 30 cm for every 4 feet and certified seed crop require 30 cm for every 8 feet is given for easy roguing. Next one is irrigation. The life irrigation and at critical stages of flowering, pot development stage, maturity stages are important. Irrigate plot by plot and not to plot to plot. Then gap filling. Gap filling should be done within 5 to 7 days. If it is beyond means the maturity will be different and harvesting is difficult. Then next one is roguing. Roguing means removal of unwanted or undesirable plants. It should be done at vegetative, pre-flowering, flowering, pre-harvest flowering, pre and harvest stages based on the morphological characters. Then next point is fertilizers and supplementary pollination. Normally split application is useful compared to total application. Basal and top dressing of one or two or three times depending upon crop duration. The supplementary pollination is given mainly for hybrid seed production crops. For example, paddy require rope pulling and rod driving. In case of sunflower, the smearing the flower head with the muslin cloth, then head to head method that is touch the one flower head with another one. 
and foliar application of fertilizers and growth regulators. Then next point is weeding. It is done either manually or mechanically or by using chemical means. Then next point is plant protection measures. Care should be taken for toxicity, residual effect and lethal dose. Then harvest. Care with the seed and joy with the harvest. So during harvest, the care should be taken for moisture content and physiological maturity. For seed crop, it should be harvested at physiological maturity stage. For example, sunflower, the peduncle color changes to lemon yellow, then drooping of heads. In case of paddy, the crop changes to straw yellow color and for brinjal, fruit color changes to yellow color. Here avoid delayed or premature harvest. In agricultural crops, once over harvest is possible, but staggered harvest is followed in horticultural crops. We should avoid delayed or premature harvest. Then processing. Moisture content is important during threshing. The seed crop should be harvested at optimum moisture content to avoid mechanical damage. Then last point is seed storage. During seed storage, the type of container is important. It should be vary based on the chemical composition of seed, whether it is short term or long term storage. If it is short term storage means we can store it in cunny bag, for long term storage means we can store it in polyethylene bag, polypropylene bag and also the moisture vapor proof containers. Students, so far we have learnt about area selection, selection of land, season, crop, varieties, seeds, sowing, isolation, factors influencing isolation distance, pre-sowing seed treatment, seed rate, time of planting, roguing spacing, irrigation, irrigation, roguing, fertilizer and supplementary pollination, weeding, plant protection measures and also the post harvest operations for quality seed production. Next class we will see about the factors influencing the quality seed production.